All right, so I just placed one piece of par-cooked bacon in each of my muffin holes. We're gonna go ahead and put that to the side and grab my macaroni noodles. Now, this is just my Kraft Mac and Cheese Deluxe. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that cheese from the box and we are gonna put this right in there with our noodles. Oh my gosh, look how delicious that looks. Now, if you have a macaroni recipe you like, go ahead and use that for this. But the deluxe craft is so yummy. I promise you guys, it will not disappoint. Just get all of that cheese in there. Mm -mm -mm. This is gonna be a super easy and super delicious little game day appetizer, snack, lunch, whenever you wanna eat it. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm gonna come in with some eggs. And this is just gonna be a binder, so we're only gonna use one egg. Right in there with our mac and cheese. And I did let my noodles cool down so that the egg wouldn't cook while we mix this. All right, time to get all of those noodles, cheese, and egg incorporated. This is starting to look delicious. Yeah, that oh cheese, my goodness. That cheese that it comes with is amazing. Yep. It looks good, sounds good, and we cooked our noodles all the way, rinsed them, and all that jazz. Look how delicious this looks. And this is just going to get even better with that bacon. Yep, this is going with that bacon. Now, I'm going to add some additional seasoning because I just like some flavorful mac and cheese. We're starting off with some garlic salt. You can use garlic powder if you're worried about your sodium. Beautiful. And then just some pepper, keeping it simple today. Just a few ingredients to make this super easy if you're making it on football Sunday and you want it to be quick. Oh, this is gonna be great for the guys. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's make sure all of those seasonings are blended in. Oh my gosh, look at that. Mac and cheese. Oh my goodness. Okay, we are almost done, you guys. That's how quick this recipe is. Put it into our muffin tin. Go ahead and grab this. And then I have here a ice cream scooper. And we are just gonna quickly scoop our mac and cheese right into, right in between that bacon, just like that. Doesn't that look so rich and amazing? And when it cooks, the bacon's just gonna latch on to that. Exactly. Mac and, cheese. and I like to par cook my bacon so that all that grease doesn't get into our mac and cheese. Oh my goodness. I am way too excited. I'm using my fingers a little bit just to make sure it all stays in between that bacon. Okay, almost done here. Okay, last one here. Get that mac and cheese and that bacon. Oh my, that looks incredible. Now, I need some more cheese with this. So I have my sharp Tillamook cheddar cheese and we're just gonna do a nice little sprinkle right on top, just like that, because that's just gonna give us a nice little crusted top on our mac and cheese. Oh yeah, this is gonna be really good, you guys. I mean, what is not to love bacon and mac and cheese? My two favorite things in one dish. Oh yeah, okay. Now you can use, you know, a white cheddar if you prefer, medium cheddar. You can even use a pepper jack if you wanna add a little bit of spice to it. Depending on what you and your family like, you could use whatever cheese you like. Can you put extra cheese on mine, please? Yeah, okay, this one will be yours. Which right one, here. that one? That looks like enough, right? Whoa, that one's perfect. <laughs> okay, almost done here. Last one, and then we have one more ingredient, and then this baby is ready for the oven. All right, and that is gonna be some breadcrumbs. Oh yeah. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and add, give it a little scoop, not too much, and just sprinkle it right on top of that cheese. It's gonna brown up with that extra shredded cheese we put on there. What is that for? Like texture? Or? Oh yeah, it's gonna add a nice little crunch. Just what we want with this dish. I mean, mac and cheese is not mac and cheese without bread breadcrumbs for me. Yeah, yeah, especially at the restaurants. If it doesn't have the breadcrumbs on it, we're mad. I'm not eating it. Okay, you guys. 
This is ready for the oven. My oven is set to 350 and these are gonna cook for 30 minutes. Oh my, do you see this? They look so good. Oh, okay. It is time to serve them up and there we go. Look how good that looks. Woo. Just like so, they Whoa. stay together because of that egg. Woo. All right, these look so good. Oh my gosh, okay. Look at that, stays together and everything. Look at the bottom. Whoa. Mm, juicy. Mm, mm. Is it good? That is so good. Oh. Mm.